My name is Vincent Lavelli. I've been traveling on and off since 1939 when I withdrew from Brooklyn College to go to Cuba and start a trip around the world. Mona Lisa, I had it all to myself in the Louvre. Nobody in the whole room except me and her. That's the kind of a feeling I had of the world. It was all mine. If you ever wondered what it was like to travel in the 1940s and 50s, this 99-year-old man has all the answers. I headed to his apartment on the west side of Manhattan on this cold, rainy day. When did you move here? I moved here the day that JFK was assassinated. That was in 1964. How much was the rent here? $15 a month. He invited me upstairs to sit and chat about his life. You know, this is the hard part. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have my keys. Where is the valley? Here. Yeah. yeah, you are smart. One, two, three. Have you been to Bhutan? Yes, yes. Good for you. I was born in Brooklyn, uh, 1920. So you are 99. 99. Are you Jewish? I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I have a tree in Haifa. Have some schnapps. A little, just a little. So I... Wait, wait. Un momentito. Yeah. You have to speak word yeah. by word. I'm okay. sorry. It's, it's okay. either that or write it or it's something. It's okay. How many countries have you been to? 60. 60? Yeah. I thought I had a record until you came along. What's your favorite? Well, I think now I can go back to Cuba. That, that's my favorite. Despite being hearing impaired since he was three, I started to eat lead paint that came down off the walls. Mr. Lavelli learned five languages during his career of sailing on 64 ships. Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, French, and some... Ich weiß nicht, was soll das bedeuten, dass ich so traurig bin. Just to put in perspective how long ago this man started traveling, it was just before World War II kicked off, back when the Wizard of Oz hit theaters, when planes looked like this, phones looked like this, and when Thailand was still called Siam. It was a pure, pristine world, clean, nobody around. Very few people traveled for leisure during this period of time, and it's an absolute pleasure to be able to hear his stories today. In 39, really, my first country was Canada when there were Indians camped at the base of the Niagara Falls. There wow. were tents with children. How cheap was to travel back then? How much? $29 weekend in Havana, all expenses. What's your favorite part about traveling? The friends you meet, because unless you bring the people to your house, you have not known the country. And this idea of travel is to get not to know only the country, but the people. I met 90 celebrities, including the King of Siam, the King of Afghanistan, listen to this, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. He wanted me to stay and talk with him. I said, look, I'm hungry, I'm dirty, I've been driving all day, excuse me. Uh, Mickey Mantle, we were both standing side by side at the urinals, he <laughs> taking a leak. <laughs> <laughs> what is your key to living happy? That's a good word, and that is Afro-Cuban music. Drumming makes me happy. Vincent is so kind that on my way out, he got up to walk me down four flights of stairs. I'm going to give you a little piece of candy, but I figure you get Thank dry you. from talking. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see Be careful. Don't talk. That was an incredible experience. I'm just leaving Vicente's apartment complex now. Amazing guy. It's really cool to hear about his travel stories from the 30s and 40s. And yeah, as he said, just be happy. Live a happy life. All right, guys, heading out to the city now. See you later. Muy bien. Okay, we end, at, we end on a nice note. Very good. I always try to end it on a nice note, whatever conversation I have. That comes from cruise directing. As a cruise director on 30 ships, I learned how to make people happy. And today, National Graphic Magazine is talking about happiness. They don't know where the happiness is. The happiness is up in Harlem when they get together for what is called a bembe. Bembe is drumming. Six guys drumming and then they have a pizza. In Africa, 
They drum for days from one village to another. And uh, that's where you find happy prisoners and crowded prison, prisons to hold 500, they hold 2,000. Those guys are happier than somebody working nine to five. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.